welcome everybody my name is Chrissy and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 21st of August I'm out here with my little cat Lily <laughs> she's a bit of a pest um, I'm gonna be giving you a prediction reading if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so now my videos pop up and hit those like buttons guys because that always helps me a lot and don't forget to comment because I love hearing from you down below um, so I'll close my eyes we'll get started and we'll just see what comes up I'm just out gardening today so I thought I'd shoot this video it's nearly springtime it's really warm here and sunny so I thought I'd do this little video outside so I'll close my eyes and we'll just see what comes up now they're showing me these people waking up they're showing me they're staring so they're kind of staring I talk about the bug eyes when they can start to see everything so they're staring at government to see what they're gonna do next. It's almost like as well that they've gone into shock. So they're seeing the enormity of what's coming at them now. They realize that these things, and I keep saying it, that these things aren't gonna go away. When you think of interest rates moving and the economy crashing and renewables coming, they're realizing now, all these people, we all knew if you're here on my channel, we already knew, but these things are now becoming permanent in their lives. And that's why they're showing me like the big bug eyes. Oh, my pussy cat. They're so attention-seeking pets and animals, kids and animals. Isn't that what we say here on this channel? Never work with kids and pets. Look at her, she's so cute. She's about six years old. She's a little bit of a rat bag. All right, so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting these people are in going into shock and they're really seeing things now. Hang on, let's see where else we go. And people are so disturbed by this. They're so disturbed by this. They, it's starting to enrage people. I've talked about that before, about their pain bodies rising up, but it's starting to enrage and cause these people to get really, really angry. People are getting angry. Gosh, you only need to, you only need to look at some videos of the uh, Netherland farmers to see that people are getting angry. They've been dumping everything on the roads. Poop, hay, everything. Um, and this is what I mean. People are wanting to fight back because they're getting angry. It's it's making them really, really um, annoyed, I guess is the word, when you realize your life is being taken from you and your freedom is disappearing by the minute. That's what these people are starting to realize now. Hang on, let's see where else we go. And it's, that, it's talking about us now and how we're able to detach. Um, because I keep saying we're kind of floating downstream. So it's like as much as we're sort of going with the flow, not of the reset flow, it's a different flow. It's almost like now they're showing me this stream and we've been flowing down the stream, what, for three years, but we've managed to sort of veer off into this little side like creek and now it's showing <laughs> it's showing me that we've got on this like beautiful houseboat and we've it's like we've, um, we've like moored the houseboat so we've kind of gone into this calm little um i guess you could call it an estuary or something like that is that what they call them where it's just this little sort of body of water that's just flowing really gently and we're just flowing along on this houseboat and, and we've like moored the anchor and we're just sitting there and we're just enjoying it and it's showing us on this houseboat maybe we're all there together on the terrabella houseboat but we've managed to um it, we're still flowing, but we're, it's, it's sort of saying like we're flowing at this really good pace where we're just gently flowing with our life now. And, and the fact that it's a houseboat and like they're showing me this home on the water, it, it's this sense of calm, the sense of peace. We're still, our home is our like haven. It's become our really safe place. I would say for a lot of you here on my channel, that has definitely become our safe place. And that's why it's this like houseboat because it's showing us relaxing it's got us sitting on this chair on the back throwing in the fishing line off the back of the houseboat and and there's just this serenity there's just this sense of calm even on the water we don't feel like we're just going in a head down some waterfall like a lot of these people who are waking up we're in this really calm place and that's the image i'm getting for us that's the current energy where we're, we're flowing but we're flowing in a very, um, I guess if you think of a houseboat, it's a pretty controlled way. Um, you're usually steering it yourself and you're directing it where you wanna park and the water's usually very calm and still that you're on. You're not usually riding the rapids in a houseboat. So that's the image I'm getting. But again, it's that image of our home is our haven. 
and it's our safe place to be where we can really be free and be ourselves. Um, just let me see where else we go with this today. <laughs> I'm getting it. These people are scrambling off the ride. They're showing me, <laughs> they're showing me these people in their kayaks or whatever you want to say it getting taken downstream well they're trying to get off it as we know here on my channel but they're scrambling it's like they've, they've got their kayak and their, their oar and they're trying to drag it up on the riverbank but they're like getting bruised and they're slipping on the rocks are all slimy and and they're really struggling they're really struggling to get out of that water and out of that narrative um that's the image that i'm getting it's it's awkward for them um they're feeling battered and bruised and, and they're scraping and you know how you scrape yourself on the like the branches on the bushes on the shore and the rocks is that slippery you, you bruised your arm because you hit a rock it, it's these people waking up are feeling all bedraggled by the narrative and that's the image that the guides are giving me they're trying to scramble out of it but it's it's a real effort for them to get out of the narrative and god we know it would be because they've been in it for like three years but that's the image i'm getting and i guess we have to just take it as a positive because we know they're trying to get out of it um they are trying to get out of it they're trying to get out of that narrative um but it's not easy that's what the guides are saying it's not easy when you've had your life like dick sorry guys my cat was about to knock the phone over um when you've had your lives dictated to it's very hard to become kind of independent of that so i'm definitely getting that they're scrambling now to get out of this mess that they're currently in um Let's see where else we go today. <laughs> oh, and now we're, this is you watching my channel. Now we're having like fish and chips. So we're having um, fish and chips. It might be that we've caught the fish and we're eating fish and chips. Um, it's, and, and if you think of that, so I just keep getting that saying now that if you um, feed, teach a man to fish, you can feed him for life. Um, whereas if you give him a fish, you only feed him for a day. So this is kind of the um, analogy of the saying for us is that we can kind of have fish and chips because we know how to fish. We've taught ourselves how to fish. Oh my God, sorry guys. We, we can actually fish, we can create our food. Um, a lot of us here are planting, we've become very independent. Um, we're living a very simple life. We've created for ourselves now moving forward. And, and that's what the image is. We're sort of on this houseboat, um, catching fish and making fish and chips you know it's it's easy we've grown potatoes we can chop them up and we can um even over an open fire oh my cat's having a cat. she's a bit feisty today um we can create you know chips in a pan like we can do these simple things so it, it, virtually the message is we're not going to starve is what they're saying because we've got enough skills that we get really creative and that's the image of the, like the fish and chips if you think of that it's a very simple meal but if you teach yourself to fish you're always going to have food because you know how to fish um it's like anything isn't it, it but that's the analogy i'm getting for us we we've taught ourselves a lot of things and this isn't about fish and chips obviously if you watch my channel regularly you know these are just um analogies that we um can com use to compare with things but what it's saying is we've taught ourselves a lot of skills we've taught ourselves to get outside and distract ourselves from all this stuff going on um we get out in nature we go bushwalking we cook um some do kayak <laughs> as well uh, but we all do different things you know we love music we do the things that uplift us and this is about the things that we've taught ourselves to make ourselves feel better moving into our future it's like they're catching up the fish that's what they're saying um we're able to keep creating things and we're able to keep catching fish you know it's like oh well, we can just keep catching fish and improve our life because we're always going to be able to eat we've got the tools and the know-how to 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 create a good um i guess harmonious life um let's just see where else we go with this today I'm getting it. I'm still getting it. They're saying people are staring back at government and this is the people waking up. They're staring at the government wondering what in the F, excuse me, is going on. <laughs> it can't be hidden anymore. It's, it's coming out. The destruction of what they're planning is coming out. We know it's not shown on mainstream media, but when it's starting to affect people's hip pockets and finances, they know something's up. 
They, they are. People are smelling a rat. It's their senses opening up. They know something's amiss. They know it, they can sense it, and they can feel it. Not all, we know there's a few in the mass psychosis, but a lot of them are really staring at government now. And it's like they're staring, like looking for answers. Like, what are you gonna do next? And see, this is where they get confused because they're like, God, what's gonna be next? Where are we going with this? How far are these interest rates gonna go? I even, you know, I talked to you the other day about all our health systems now are starting to get touched. That's like the next part of the reset, obviously. Um, they're things that wake people up. When you've suddenly got to start to pay big health insurances or pay for your health, wow, that is when you're, you've never had to. In Australia, we don't in the public system. So these are things that are very shocking to people. Um, let's see what else we get. And it's saying, it's saying people have heard a lot. These people waking up are starting to hear things. I said to you the other week, they're starting to get their um, information coming to them now because their vibration's starting to change and shift. So they're gonna start receiving the information like all of us did. We all received a lot of information. As we were going through our waking up journey um, and maybe through this, <laughs> I don't, what is it? Just a, the crazy reset agenda rollout, um, we, we it got messages delivered into our laps. It just came to us. Well, that's what's happening with these people now. They're starting to chat to people. They're starting to come across people who seem to understand what's going on. Um, this is what, oh, now my other cat, Joe's here, knocking the phone up. I've got two cats. I've actually got four cats. <laughs> come here, Joe. come here. She's beautiful. She's a feral cat. I'll show you Joe. Oh no, she's run away. Um, come here. Um, so that's what I'm getting. These people, are starting to get the information filtered. Oh, you can see her tail. There she is. <laughs> um, filtered, go. filtered down to them. They're starting to get it. It's starting to land in their lap because they're needing to sort out the information so that it makes sense because they got feelings telling them something's wrong. Um, hang on a sec. Yeah, and they're saying there's so much going on globally that, that you can't miss it and see this is what I was saying about they hit too hard with the reset They push too hard and now people can't miss it because it's this area. It's that area. It's this area It's that area and like I said to you the other day They they they're not very smart are they they think they're really intelligent these global leaders and all this but um, They should have done one thing at a time and people have probably wouldn't have been none, any the wiser but because of their big egos and they had to get it all rolled out with the red carpet like I keep saying they just, they put the spotlight on themselves. Like how silly were they? And now all the truths and different things are coming out. Gosh, look at Trudeau in Canada. He's really getting a lot of things thrown at him now around all these traveling mandates and things like this. It's coming out here as well. There's chaos in our airports. I'm sure it's happening globally. So all these things, people are questioning, oh, hang on a minute, maybe those mandates weren't such a great idea because now our airports are all jammed up, there's lost luggage everywhere. These are the things that wake people up. And now they're going through their journey because they're a lot of the people that were happy about mandates and now it's all coming back to bite them on the bum that we talked about the other day. So these are the things. These are the things that are waking them all up. We're already awake over here, aren't we, on our lovely houseboat fishing. Um, let me just see if there's anything else today. Yeah, I, I keep getting that share song. If I could turn back time. Everyone knows it, the raunchy one of her on the Navy ship. Um, these people wish they could turn back time and, and just go right back upon reflection and not go down that complying road because now they know where it's headed, that it's never gonna end and it's not finishing and it's all starting to catch up with them now. And that's what I'm getting. Um, they just wish they could turn back time because I said it, I think, in one of my readings, I think it was in December, I said that flying and traveling is not gonna be the same experience anymore. It's just not. And my husband said it to me the other day. He said, remember when you said that, that it'd be like, it'd become a real nightmare to travel and everything? And I did, and it is, because you're losing your luggage. People are only taking carry-on luggage. The queues are ridiculous here in Australia in Sydney Airport. I'm sure they are where you guys are. And it's absolute chaos because all the baggage handling's just gone south because they sacked everybody in the airline systems, as we know. Just one example, of course. There's many other examples, such as health industries, etc., hospitals. Um, 
and and that's what it's become it's become not a joyful full experience that a lot of these people just got jabbed so they could travel we have to remember these things see it's very easy to forget that but they got jabbed so they could travel and have their freedom back that's what they were told and now what in Canada you've got to have some app thing is it can app something on your phone it's, it's just full on isn't it um, and and now when you get to the destination it's not the same either because I've had I know people that have come back from like Bali Fiji even up in North Queensland on the tropical barrier reef islands and the experience hasn't been the same because they haven't got the wait staff um, every everything's understaffed so it's not the service they used to get because they can't get the people traveling here from overseas this would be happening where you guys are as well it's not the same experience um, because people are skimping and I mean look at people going on cruises <laughs> cruise liners how's that the same experience it's not they're still having to like isolate people that have got the CV virus and the ship has to dock in the port and let everyone off and it's not a holiday how's that a holiday it's just not relaxing I couldn't think of anything worse to be honest I love just spending my time at home out in my garden or going the movies um, doing simple things as you know you guys do as well out there um, uh, the houseboat is sounding very good isn't it so this is what I'm getting everything has just become harder it's not like it was before and these people are going through that they're the ones queued up at the airports they're the ones that are losing their luggage probably not a lot of us because we still a lot of us can't travel we still don't have freedom I don't think I could travel to many places overseas I said that before you still have to have that international jab passport even though as we all know here the CDC has now said that unvaccinated are equivalent to the vaccinated How's that work? Oh yeah, no apologies, is there from anybody? All the people that vilified us and all the parliamentary leaders. I've left that video on my um, Facebook page if anyone wants to go check, check that out. Chris Fitzgerald, Psychic Life Coach. I left that video about all the people vilifying us and then they're having to eat their words. It's a great little clip. Um, you gotta go and check it out, it's as funny as. Um, but, you know, we all told them but nobody listens to us, do they? Now they don't know what the hell they've got in their body and what that spike protein's doing. Anyway, not our problem is that we just have to leave them to that jab wheel now. If they choose to get off it, they can. And like the guides are saying, they're trying to scramble and get their boat up on the shore and they're all bedraggled and bruised and got scratches because they're that desperate to get out of the narrative. <sighs> anyway, I'll just see if there's any closing messages today. And they, they just keep saying that we have to believe we are magic. We've resolved all our past issues. And look, I'm not saying we're never gonna have issues again and our life's just gonna be all smooth sailing. It isn't, no one has a life like that. But the big issues and those emotional traumas and things that we've had to deal with in the past, we've put them behind us. We worked through them. We weren't scared. We, we pushed through our fears. And that's what these people are not doing. And well, a lot of them are starting to. You've got to push through your fears to get to the other side. It's like climbing that mountain. You've got to climb up to the top of the mountain to get to the other side. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. Hang on a sec. <laughs> the guides are just saying, yeah, and there's still a lot going on on the other side of the mountain as well. But there's more joy on the other side of the mountain. Um, oh, and, and it's like they're saying to me, like, we're um, squeezing, like, life now we're we're squeezing all the good juice out of life like if you think of juicing an orange or something like that we're squeezing all the best stuff out of it and all the nice goodness and and that's what we're doing with our lives moving forward um we're squeezing all the goodness out of our life and making the most of it and and it, it's fulfilling us see that's that's what's happening with us now hang on let's see if there's anything to close with hang on And they're just saying, like, be strong, be ready. We're always ready. I think as brave hearts, <laughs> the brave heart bikers, we're always ready with our swords and our shield um, in case we have to fight or in case we have to protect ourselves. But what, what they're kind of saying is it's not in the sense of having to stand up and fight. I don't think our, these are our battles and fights to have anymore. It, it's just saying, like, be ready for more, like, future happiness and and experiences because we're creating them we're making them and they're coming they're coming towards us and and the guides are just kind of saying we really need to embrace things now and just keep moving in that direction 
and and then they showed me that image again of the cowboy in the street with the people coming behind him we're moving them out of that old like it's saying like western ghost town where there was no life energy there was no people it had been all boarded up on the windows and all shut down well we're kind of taking them now out into the mountains if you think of like i don't know yellowstone maybe that <laughs> visual of yellowstone is that in i don't know where yellowstone is is that in canada i don't i don't know anyway it's like showing us these beautiful mountains and i don't know where they shoot that show actually but it's like colorado and i'm getting this you know, oh, they're giving me a John Denver song now. Rocky Mountain High. Oh, Colorado. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that song today. We're going to go and check out that John Denver song. Is it Colorado? Rocky Mountain High, Colorado? I love John Denver. Wasn't he just an absolute brilliant singer? He had such a tragic death in the end. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that, and that's where we're leading everybody out into the open fields, the beautiful mountains, and they're following behind us because that's where they want to head. They're scrambling off the the the, up out of the water onto the uh, the shore and the banks of the river <laughs> and they're following behind us and that's what I'm going to leave you with today let's go check out that song we'll see what the words are in it sometimes there's always a message for us isn't there so look have a wonderful weekend everybody I'm going to go do some gardening enjoy the sunshine spend time with my doggos and I'll don't forget to subscribe if you haven't hit the like buttons and comment down below I love hearing from you and I'll say goodbye from Australia bye everybody bye